Yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boys from our reactions here. My name's Logan. And my name's Francesco. And the Toronto Maple Leafs lost to the Buffalo Sabres. Woohoo! And they have another game coming up, so they better win that one. Yeah. Let's get into game 53 and 54 recaps. Here we go. Here we go. Scoring Michael Bunting, the Scarbro native. Yes. Getting on the board here, his 19th of the year. He is in Calder votings. I love the dude. He has reinvented his career here in Toronto. He is a boy of the Toronto Maple Leafs. According to NHL stats, he is the best value per point player yeah. in the league. I want this guy back. Uh, Marner and Sandine, the Sandman, picking up an assist here. Uh, one nothing Toronto, and then Connor Sherry getting in the board here. Twelfth of the year for him. Backstrom and Carlson getting assists there. To one one tie, and then William Nylander, the Willie, the Nylander getting on the board here. Twenty first of the year. Tavares and Kerfoot picking up assists. Two one Toronto, and then Justin Hall, Justin Hall, the man, the myth, wow. the legend. Justin Hall getting his second goal of the year for him. Marner and Riley picking up assists. 3-1. And it's shiny in Toronto land. And 3-1. 3-1. So but thankfully, they actually didn't screw it up. No. So in the second period, it was kind of underwhelming other than Tom Wilson putting, uh, getting on the board with the 16th of the, on the, the season. Ovechkin and Carlson pick up assists. And this, unfortunately, was on the power play. Yes, 3-2. And third period. And then in third period, Tom Wilson... Back again from the myth. Tom Wilson, 17th of the year for him. Carlson picking up an assist. Shorthanded, 3 3 tie. And then. Shorthanded, like. Oh. Rasmus Sandin, the Sandman, picking up his third goal of the season for him. Hall and Tavares picking up assists, 4 3 Toronto. They and then. Pierre Engvall getting on the board here, scoring the empty netter. Makaya picking up the assist, 5-3 Toronto, and then that's it! 35-14-4 mm -hmm. is the Toronto Maple Leafs record. Let's go over some stats here. Now, technically it could have been 6-3 because Kerfoot was in the offensive zone with an empty net because they decided to pull their net again with 50 seconds to go and it was 5-3. Kerfoot had made it into the Washington zone, but then the rest blow the whistle for an assumed penalty, but they never even called anything, which I hated. That bothered me because it could have been 6 Three, but I'm not going to be salty about it. 33 shots on goal for the Caps, 28 for the Leafs. Leafs were 0 for 4 on the power play. That's not what you like to see. And 1 for 3 on the power play for the Caps with a shorthanded. So that wasn't that good. Uh, 8 penalty minutes for the Leafs, 10 for the Caps, 23 hits for the Leafs, 39 hits for the Caps, 16 hits for the Caps. Sorry, 16 blocks for the uh, Caps, 13 blocks for the Leafs, 4 giveaways for the Leafs, 11 giveaways for the Caps. So that's pretty good. And our record improves to 35, 14, and 4. And, and the misery now, begins. Buffalo Sabres. The seventh seed, might I add. They're, they're not in the playoff race so far. They're in the same position they were. I think the bottom, but, the, the Atlantic division is split. The top four teams are making the playoffs, and the bottom four teams are not making the playoffs because of the, the point difference. So It's just 4-1. No, 5-1, even worse. Five one. Oh. Jacob Bryson. Who? Getting his what? first goal of the year, the season for him. Why do we always have to give first points? And first goals. Cousins and Middlestat 
picking up assists, one nothing on a power play for Buffalo. And then Rasmus Sanding, the Sandman, finally shows up. Four goal of the year for him. He's the only player that showed up except for Bunting and Marner. And then it's downhill from there because 2-1, 3-1, 4-1, 5-1. McGill Lofson, 8th of the season, Aspen and Dallin, then Tage Thompson, 23 of the season, Skinner and Touche. Then, if things couldn't get worse, J Jeff Skinner picking up a goal, 4-1, and then Kyle Pozo picking up a goal, Cousins picking up the assist, 5-1 Buffalo. Wow, how nice. 31 shots on goal for the Sabres, 30 for the Leafs. Do I notice much of a difference there? No. But do I notice a, a difference in the score? Yes. 1 for 2 on the power play for the Sabres, 0 for 1 for the Leafs, 4 penalty minutes for the Leafs, 2 for the Sabres, 20 hits for the Sabres, 17 for the Leafs, 16 blocks for the Sabres, 9 for the Leafs, 11 giveaways each. Our record is now 35, 15, and 4. And so this better be, like, just, they better play better next time we meet Buffalo, which is our Heritage Classic game, which we'll discuss more about in a second. So today, which we're filming this on Saturday for a little bit of a yes. different uh, uh, video, um, they were showing off in uh, dressing and practice the Wayne Train 1000 games. Uh, tonight, Wayne Simmons plays 1000 NHL career game. Yes, he is, Wayne Wayne's Simmons. Anxious. And also, for the Heritage Classic game, which is next Sunday. We will be um, streaming that game. Yes, we are confirming that we will be streaming. Our stream will start at around like... Uh, I think 3.55 or 4, I'm not 100% sure, but 4 o'clock, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on this live stream. It'll be our third ever live stream and our second ever live stream for a uh, Leafs game. It'll be the Heritage Classic game at the Tim Hortons Field in Hamilton, and it will be Leafs versus Buffalo, and Buffalo better lose. Yes! Okay. Toronto better win. Now let's get into this. The this schedule. week was quite underwhelming. We're only recapping two games, and but next week it should pick up because oh, we got a five game recap, guys. Next week, five games, and I'm predicting we are taking four out of five possible games. Ding 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 ding. Woo! We got Toronto versus Vancouver, which is tonight uh, when we're filming, March 5th, 7 p.m. Then March 7th on Monday, 7.30, we're going to Columbus again. Back-to-back uh, -back on the 8th at 7.30, we're, uh, Seattle is coming to Scotiabank for our second uh, game with Seattle. Uh, then Arizona comes to Scotiabank on the 10th at 7 p.m. And then the fifth game uh, will be the Heritage Classic game, Buffalo vs. Toronto at 4 p.m. So that's so, a five game recap. Man. So I'm predicting now Vancouver will win, Columbus will win, Seattle will win, Arizona. Hold on a second. It's a trap game. It's a trap game. Arizona's probably going to win. It's going to happen. And mm -hmm. that's what's going to happen. Buffalo, we're going to win. So I am predicting out of these five games, we are going to get four out of five out of all these games. These are easy points. This is not that difficult. Seattle, so, Columbus, two, Buffalo, four, six, eight out of possible ten, I think. Yes, eight out of possible ten points. Eight out of a possible ten. That is my prediction for this The week. first month is like very slow, like Dallas. Then it starts to ramp up. You got Carolina. Um, Florida, I, Boston. We only got two months of hockey, and we're gonna be coming up on the trade deadline soon. April, at the end May, of this June. Month. Well, I think we're like two weeks away from trade deadline. Cal Dubis does have some moves up his sleeve. Apparently, there were least uh, staff coaching uh, staff, uh, scouting staff were found to watching the Vancouver games, and both on two nights they were watching the Vancouver games. So they're clearly interested in someone on Vancouver, possibly Luke Boston. Shen. A possible lease reunion? JT you don't Miller. know. JT Miller, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see what, what we'll recap whatever happened on the yes. trade deadline. But we'll, we'll definitely make a video yes. exclusively for the trade deadline. So that is it for today's video, guys. You're gonna like, comment, subscribe, and if don't, you don't, please don't forget to check out our gaming videos for this week. Yes. And uh, we will be playing the Heritage Classic game in our gaming video. Check that and out. And please. 
tell Jack Campbell and tell all the goaltenders, if you're a goaltender, tend to goal! Peace!